If you own a car, you are at risk of one of the fastest growing crimes in Utah. Cal catalytic converters are being swiped from the underbelly of cars at an alarming rate. Yes, they are. The theft takes just two minutes. The crooks selling them off for hundreds of dollars, leaving you with repairs costing thousands. So KSL investigators go undercover not to see who's stealing these car parts, but to check on the buyers. March 25th, a little after 8 o'clock in Mill Creek, and Unified Police... We're going to make sure he's not back here hiding anywhere first. ...are on the hunt, searching alleyways, parking lots, and backyard fences. The hole's right there by that tree. Trying to find a yeah. guy who just moments earlier... There's a camera on the front up here. ...was caught on security cam, a shovel right there covering his face... No, they found his backpack, his tools, and his shovel. ...breaking into an auto shop and looking for just... Second-hand cat. ...one... They just want to see the cat. ...thing. They'll chop your wire and take your cat. No, 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 he's not stealing that kind of cat. This is a catalytic converter right here. Stealing okay. this Directly kind of cat, a catalytic converter. converter. That's Jeff yeah. Smith, owner of Impact yeah. Auto and Diesel. And whether it's on the lift. All of the precious metals are inside of that. Or the outside lot. His story is yeah. not unique. Security cameras showing his shop broken into a couple of times because of a two-minute trend that's becoming all too common. They bring a jack, and they jack up a car, they take a sawzall and chop off the exhaust. Catalytic converters are pretty valuable these days. They would cut it here and on the other side of the cat itself. And here's the reason why. Just take a look inside here and you can see this honeycomb light grid. Okay, so that honeycomb or that screen, that's what they're after, is that right? It is. A tiny screen, potentially worth a lot of money. It contains trace amounts of platinum, palladium, and rhodium. Just look at the market value alone. Get in really fast. And the standard three to seven grams in most of these cats will get you some serious coin. Let's face it, that's what drives these types of thefts, right? So Salt Lake City Police Sergeant Keith Horrocks says the numbers certainly tell the story. Take a look at the percentage of increase from month to month. In just one year, Salt Lake City went from 71 reported catalytic converter thefts to 331. That is a 366% increase. The reality is, catching these thieves has been tough. Chances of getting caught are, are very low. But when you're talking She's about the fresh. victims... Barely cut the, that cat out of there. The financial blow may be even I mean, tougher. Four or $5,000 that we've had to put out on replacing new catalytic converters. That's Kelly Edwards. He runs oh, a business wow. with three tow yards and three auto repair shops. And in the last few months... In the last few months, I would say 100. He's had catalytic yeah, converters okay. swiped from and, every uh, single yeah. property. In fact, he oh, used yeah. to rent this lot. Is I didn't really realize how bad it got. Um, or people say started cutting the fence. Until they I mean, kicked him out because of so many break-ins. He's yeah, losing no, a lot of money. We have to put the catalytic converter back in it, and sometimes it's $800 for a catalytic converter. Yeah, 800 bucks is on the low end. Replacing a catalytic converter is going to cost you upwards of $2,400, maybe even more depending on the vehicle's make and model. The bigger the engine, the more expensive the cat. And while you're spending hundreds, even thousands in repairs... Good. I want to see if I could get any cash for this cat. This is what the thieves are doing. Yeah, I just want to see if I could get something for this cat. With your property, KSL investigators went undercover. Yeah, just go ahead and take it out there to those guys, and I'll call it out there, Tim, okay? Taking okay. catalytic converters to three different metal recycling yards in the Salt Lake Valley. And if you think they're concerned about where these cats are coming from... You know what's off of? I don't. They were not in strict compliance with state law. Oh, you got your ID on you? Yeah. You've been here before? I have not been here before. We're on the other side of that Jeep over there. Oh, is that on the pilot? Yes. Out of the nine requirements, there's at least two each of these three businesses ignored. They did not document our license plate, and they did not get our signature, stating we had the legal right to sell the catalytic converters. Need anything else from me, or is that it? But hey, we did get a suggestion for the best cats to bring in. They're worth big dollars right now. Are they? How much? Depends on what it is. Subarus, $1,100. Really? Yeah, really. $1,100 for the recycler. He says $250 for the seller. There's no ironclad way to know if the catalytic converter is stolen. You can't really track them, can you? Well, no, not really. Nate Mutter is with the Utah Attorney General's office and says even though serial numbers are etched into the side of some of these catalytic converters... All it will tell you is uh, a, a potential year and model of the vehicle it's on. Those numbers are generic, with no way to pinpoint exactly what car it came off of. He believes the laws need to be more strict and more responsibility placed on the recyclers, some of whom 
are cashing in the most. It's extremely frustrating. You, you, you can, so someone can bring in a catalytic converter and it could be melted down by the, later on in that same day. Which means without a solid paper trail, the only way to catch these thieves... I think it's a big score, but I also think it's a drop in the bucket. ...is somewhere in the act. We're, we're probably looking at over $100,000 easy of, of catalytic converters that we seized today. This storage unit full of catalytic converters is the result of a sting operation by the AG's office. The guy in custody now accused in dealing over 100 catalytic converters believed to be stolen. The reality is he's just one. Just one of many police have been trying to chase down. A two-minute crime where crooks and some recyclers keep making money. Victims keep losing money. And even when police are called in the middle of the night, there simply aren't enough dogs in the forest to track down the guy stealing all of these cats. Now, just days before our investigation, the AG's office audited more than a dozen scrap metal dealers in Utah, and a majority of the businesses received citations for noncompliance with state law. Law enforcement would like to see laws similar to those maybe for pawn shops, where the scrap yards would be required to hold on to the catalytic converter for two weeks before melting it down. And any of those citations uh, that they gave out um, they're Class C misdemeanors, so wow, I mean, not it's, it's not much, not yeah. much at That's all. That's maddening. Yep. All right, thanks. Wow.